Hello everyone, my name is Zena Patel from Arcade School in 4th Standard. My teacher's name is Miss Farin. Today I am telling a short summary of EVS1, a look inside the body. A part of a body that is used to perform a certain function is called an organ. Organs that are outside of a body are called external organs. Organs that make us aware of our body are called sensory organs. Eyes, nose, ear, tongue and skin are our sensory organs. Organs that are situated inside our body are called internal organs. There are four cavities. Cranial cavity, thoracic cavity, abdominal cavity and pelvic cavity. Now, let us look about the cavities and the internal organs. The brain. The brain is situated in the cranial cavity. It is very important and control all that we do. It aware all the emotions and collect all the information by the sensory organ. It is protected by the skull around it. Now, let's move to the heart. The heart. The heart is situated in the center of the thoracic cavity. The wall of the heart is flexible. The heart keeps the blood flowing through the blood vessels spread out throughout out the body. The heart continuously contracts and relaxes. The contraction of the heart is called a heartbeat. At the wrist, there is a blood vessel. You can feel the heartbeat with your finger. This is called pulse. Now just breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. That's what I say throughout. Why I am saying this? Well, let's talk about the lungs. The internal organ through which the air is supplied to the body is called lungs. They are situated in the thoracic cavity. The right lung is slightly bigger than the left lung. The heart is between the lung to little to the left. When we breathe, the air travels throughout the windpipe. This is separated into two branches. When we breathe, the lung expands to little. That is the reason of our chest swells up. Now, have you wondered where the food goes when this enters our body? Now, let's talk about digestive system. When we chew the food, the food particles break into little pieces and mix with saliva and form a moist ball. Then it passes through the long pipe called esophagus. The tube of esophagus is situated in the thoracic cavity. The wall of esophagus is flexible. This makes the food to pass easily to the stomach. The stomach is situated in the abdominal cavity. The internal organs in the abdomen help to digest it. The unwanted part is passed out through the anus. That way the journey ends. Thank you.